So, Google released a new doodle for the Tokyo Olympics. Want to know how to beat the game? Let's start from the beginning. The controls are on the side, but you can also use the WASD keys. Go up and talk to these guys, then start the cutscene over here. At the start of each game, it will tell you the controls. After the cutscene is over, keep going up and interact with the billboard over here. Then choose which team you want to be in. I'll choose red. You can also use the compass to warp around the overworld. So I'll be going clockwise, starting from the climbing area. I'll go in the same direction to collect all trophies, after finishing all areas. So, click on the climbing area icon, then start the game. Here's the path I normally take. These particles appear before a snowball does, so look out for those. Now, let's go to the table tennis area. The guy aims his shots generally in the same area, so if you hit most of everything, then you should be fine. Now, let's go to rugby. Just go through the middle and use the power-ups. Now for the marathon. This one kinda sucks. What you want to do is run without stopping for as long as possible, and only press space when you really need to. Now, skateboarding. Just jump on and off a rail, and press space while you're in the air. The more you do it, the more you get. Just don't mess up. Artistic swimming. This one's mostly skill. I actually use W and A for left and up, and arrow keys for the other two. Maybe that's helpful. Higher combo is higher score, so don't mess up. And if you really want to, you can use your mouse. Archery. Here, you want to try and hit as much stuff with one arrow. Keep in mind that the arrows take time to travel. You shoot and move faster as you get more points. Then you get a cutscene and now the overworld looks like this. So if you didn't want it to look like this, then too bad. Now we'll be going through all of the trophies. You can talk to this guy over here in the center of the map but you get nothing. So yeah. Again, starting from the climbing area. Go to the right and speak to this guy. The arrow shop is located in the archery area over here. Then go to the rugby area to collect a bottle of lava. Go back to the arrow shop, then go back to the climbing area to open up the springs. At the top, you also get an extra hard climbing game. I found it helpful to use WASD instead of arrow keys. Next trophy. Go to this house over here and speak to this group. The bunny girl is located right here. Those are all the trophies in the climbing area. Yes, getting the big guy down the mountain is not a trophy. So, go to the table tennis area and head to the right. Go to the house here and speak to this guy. Then go to the dojo over here and interact with the fan behind him. The invisible octopus is located here. Go back to the dojo and interact with the fan again. Next trophy, go here and speak to this guy, then go to the four lanterns and light them up. This unlocks a longer game of table tennis. Next trophy, go back here and to the right, speak to this guy. Then go behind the dojo and speak to this guy. Then go to the skateboarding area and then to the ticker shop over here and speak to this guy. Speak to the guy running the noodle shop over here. Then go back to the guy behind the table tennis dojo. This unlocks a longer game of table tennis. Those are all the trophies in the table tennis area. So go to the rugby area and talk to this group. Momotaro is located over here in the climbing area. Make sure you get the peaches on the way. Next trophy. Go to this house over here and talk to this guy. 
go to the skateboarding area, and then into the bakery over here. Oh wait, you can't actually get to it yet. So we'll have to get this trophy as well. Talk to this guy, and then go to the hot springs in the climbing area. Talk to the guy again to get access to the bakery over here. Talk to the baker, then again to the Oni. Also talk to this cat for a trophy. Those are all the trophies in the rugby area. So go to the marathon area and talk to this guy. Then go here, then here, then here. And then back to the guy again. Next trophy. Talk to this guy over here. The table tennis bat is over here. Next trophy. Go in this house and talk to these guys. Then talk to this crab. Then go to the skateboarding area and back to the bakery again. Talk to the bunny, then go back to the house. This unlocks a longer marathon race at the back. Next trophy. Go to this house and talk to this guy. The sticks are here, here, and here. Those are all the trophies in the marathon area. So go to the skateboarding area and go to this tiny house and talk to this guy. Then go to the library here and get the book. Then go back to the house. Next trophy. Go to the gym here and talk to the coach. Go to the noodle bar and talk to this guy. Then go to the marathon area and get the shoes here. Talk to the guy again. Then go to the shop over here. Talk to the guy again. Then visit the gym again. Next trophy. Talk to this guy. The password is actually tea kettle, but that's not an option. So go to the dojo here. Then talk to this guy. And then this guy again. This unlocks another skate park. Those are all the trophies in the skateboarding area. So go to the artistic swimming area and go to this house. Spooky. Then go here and here. Then talk to this guy. Then talk to the ghost again. If you go over here, it also unlocks another dance level. Next trophy. You can go over here and talk to this guy. You will need to find three turtles. One is here. One is here. And one is here. Then go back to the gates and talk to the guy again. This unlocks another dance level. Those are all the trophies in the artistic swimming area. So go to the archery area and talk to this guy. The arrows are here, 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 and here. Then talk to the guy again. Next trophy. Go to this house and talk to this guy. Then go to the rugby area and talk to the guy in this house. Go back to the guy here. Next trophy. Talk to this guy and then go to the dojo. Go here and get the arrow. Then go back to the guy. Those are all the trophies in the archery area. So go back to the trophy house. Wait, there's one missing. Uh, interact with the missing trophy and go outside. Talk with these guys. Then go to that cat in the rugby area. Then go to this house in the archery area. Talk to Momo. Then go back to the trophy house. Congratulations, you've beaten the game. And while you're here, here's some interesting stuff. You can skip the tutorial. You'll find these guys around the map that say Kappa. Except this one. You can mess with the falling pezzles by going up and down stairs. There are some text boxes with other languages. I can only assume this is a translation error or something. This book title is Spanish for the four team leaders. At the front of the yellow team's headquarters, the two guards will say this, which is... For keep going. If you inspect this trophy, the trophy master will say this. This is Burmese for do not be upset or do not be sorry depending if you use grammar. 
The turtle at the start here says this in Gallican. And here are what each of the team headquarters look like. 